<laughs> in the car park picking tiny flowers they can't even see. I love this. This is lovely. So let me go and get some more and experiment some more with you. Flower pounding, but we are going to do it with the tiniest, tiniest flowers and leaves. So wherever you live, you can do this. So what we're going to do is use acetate. So this you can get from food packaging. It's just to give a flat surface and also so that the, um, the juices from, they won't be much, from the flowers and leaves won't leak through and then it, you get a really good finish on the fabric. So we're going to start off and use some scraps of, this is an organic, it's like a calico, it's a very similar fabric. So you, most people have got a bit of calico or whatever you have at home that's plain, just to get you started. So put one of the acetate sheets first, then put your fabric on top. Now we're going to lay out our leaves and flowers and I'm going to use tweezers, you can use your fingers um, but it is challenging because of the size so just pick up what you want and lay it down. I'm going to do it's a Japanese kind of style, they, they just randomly place the leaves and flowers across the fabric um, rather than kind of laying it in a you know an ornate style so i'm going to these are all these are tiny tiny clovers look how sweet that is and i like the bits um still left on so they're really natural I'm just going to lay these as a as a backdrop. And random is always good. Just going to do it. so relaxing. And we've got the buds. Look how sweet. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is looking lovely. This, um, these tweezers are actually from a sewing machine. They came free with it. So they're not sharp. Just use whatever you've got. Oh my goodness, what sweetness. That is so lovely. I'm going to do some more petals. Uh, the petals probably won't show up very much at all. Do some more clover. Oh, the clover is lovely. And I did a video in the car park flowers that are so tiny. Should put that one there. Let me show you. There we go. One on this side. Oh my goodness, look at this. These leaves are sweet as well. Let's put some of those in.
it's almost like a tiny 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 water lily on camera do you goodness isn't it lovely tiny kind of water lily it's just the sweetest little thing I'm going to do a couple more forget me nots Right, let's get some more of those petals. Wonder how they're gonna come out. It'll be interesting to see. I'm gonna leave that one away. I'm not gonna do a whole daisy. In this one actually I don't need to do one that's um, I've already pulled apart, so this one, I'm going to take the petals off, I'm going to do it off the, and just, Them fall as they want to fall. So the big reveal. Let's have a look. This is looking lovely, isn't it? These long stems. So you can see which have come out really successfully. These are sweet. So sweet. And the the grassy kind of looking leaves like that, they're not so successful as a leaf, but they're quite sweet. And let's have a look, see how the Clover's come out. Clover's not great either. I think it's probably not juicy enough, if you know what I mean. Let's look at this one. Oh, that's lovely. And the petals haven't come out at all. So I think I'm going to try those as a a full daisy. These are the um, backs of the forget me nots. Let's see how the front looks. The blue hasn't really come out on the forget-me-nots. So I won't use those again. And I quite like these little random ones. So I think juicy is the way to go. It's looking at flowers with a different eye, so seeing things that are going to these are lovely really lovely do some more of those on the next one i'm going to try the next one on linen that one's quite sweet i like that it 
is looking good. Let's experiment some more. <laughs> 